This is George from High Tech Legion. When most of us think of BitPhoenix, we think of cases, which is natural because that is where they started as a case manufacturer. However, BitPhoenix has really branched out, uh, going into case accessories, uh, premium modding accessories, and even into audio with the Flow headset. Now, today we're going to look at their newest piece, the Fury 750G, which is an 80 plus gold power supply, uh, 750 watts, which fits right in line with this actually, as it includes um, their premium modding alchemy cables straight out of the box. The BitPhoenix Fury line is actually a pretty interesting thing. Um, you know, it's not the first time we've seen braided cables out of the box on a power supply, but it is the first time we've seen them on a reasonably priced power supply. You know, something that wasn't a 1500 watt enthusiast type power supply, you know, coming in at $350 or something of that nature. You know, we're looking at now uh, something that's, you know, in the mainstream pricing category with enthusiast um, cabling on it. And that's kind of a big deal, just because we're seeing so many people go to cabling, uh, cable extensions or actually changing the cables, you know, looking to do individual sleeving, etc. You know, the 750G is set up for it right out of the box and, you know, contains some really nice black cables right out of the box. So let's, while we're on the subject of the box, take a quick look. And 750G, as you see, you do have a small picture of the power supply with the uh, emphasis being on the cables, nano sleeve braiding on the cables, same as their alchemy line, 80 plus gold efficiency, five year warranty. Moving around the box, look at a couple of the features here, 80 plus gold efficiency, active power uh, factor correction, obviously kind of a big deal. I should mention that the Fury 750G is built off the FSP um, platform. So you are getting a tried and true, you know, workhorse of a power supply, you know, not just something random, you're getting a top quality power supply along with it. Um, Nano sleeve braided cables, like we say, Haswell C6, C7 ready, semi modular design. Now they do call it semi modular, but the only cable connected is the 24 pin, which obviously is going to be a necessity in any build. So it is fully modular except for that. And even the 24 pin, as we're going to see, is individually braided cables. Japanese made capacitors, 135 millimeter FDB ultra silent fan for quiet operation. Obviously, also working with a fan curve, so at lower. Uh, Heat needs, it's going to uh, rotate slower. Higher heat needs, obviously, it's going to speed up. Aggressive BitPhoenix design, very nice looking power supply. Single rail power output, and also does feature FSP's active clamp technology. So you get some really good regulation across there. And BitShield six point protection. Um, to your standard over voltage over um, current, under voltage, etc. So you've got all your protection circuitry built into the power supply. Like I say, 750 watt power supply, 720 watts on the 12 volt rail, single 12 volt rail, like I say, 60 amps, 750 watts total, 160 combined on the 3.3 and the 5 volt. So that gets us through, you know, the main features and specifications on the BitPhoenix 750G. Now, getting a look at the 750G itself, uh, you know, one of the things about BitPhoenix, they have a very, very distinct styling to their product. So if you are using a BitPhoenix case, BitPhoenix modding accessories, the 750G is going to fit right in. Even if you're not, it's a very good looking power supply. Uh, BitPhoenix does make really nice looking products, but like I say, they're also very distinctive looking. You've got their, and they've also got a very distinctive logo, which is embossed right into the top of the 750G with a stainless uh, or aluminum, I should say. Um, outer ring, as you see. Really nice looking top to the power supply. And on the side, very, very standard uh, BitPhoenix type of logo that we see. And that is actually a sticker, but you can see it actually blends in very, very well. It actually looks like it's in, uh, imprinted right on there uh, between two embossed lines. And good finish on the case of the supply. Like I say, this is a really nice looking, very well-made power supply. Moving around the back, all of your modular connectors, as well as uh, some breathing holes up top, get a little bit more uh, airflow through the case, and your modular connectors right here. And the 24-bit connector, like I say, is hardwired on, and but it is the individually braided cables, as you see right here, and you've got good length to them. Over on the other side of the power supply, you've got your 80 plus certification along with all of your outputs, uh, typical, you know, what we see on any power supply. On the bottom itself, You've got that 135 millimeter fan. Again, the uh, aluminum ring around the outside is a BitPhoenix fan, as you see, uh, with the BitPhoenix logo once again on the fan grill. So good looking all around. And back mostly open uh, for airflow, as you see, is on off switch 
and your power cord connector right there. The accessory package is really a huge part of what makes the 750G desirable. Um, take a look real quick, four simple screws, bounding screws, installation guide with all your specs. Uh, one of the nice things also in here is you do have, let me go back a page, your list of connectors here, uh, a pin CPU cable, one of those. Uh, you've got two, or I should say four, uh, six plus two pin VGA cables, three SATA cables, one Molex cable, one SATA plus Molex cable, uh, floppy adapter. It's not built onto a cable, so it's not hanging there if you're not going to use it, and the screws. So you've got, you know, I mean, like I say, very, very simple, very um, easy to follow on manual. It's power supply, and it's a single rail, so there's no uh, mixing, matching, or anything of that nature. So really, really simple. So power cable, 18 gauge, coated, and moving on to our cables, like I say, this is really a big deal. Um, you know, looking at this cable kit, individually sleeved cables, uh, you'd be looking probably between $80 and $100 to replicate the cable kit that comes with the Fury 750G. So uh, if you've never worked with individually sleeved cables before, you, they do take a little bit more time um, when you're routing. Otherwise, they will look a little spaghetti-like. So you do need to take a little more care. But when you're done, uh, the end result is really phenomenal. And as you can see, they're beautifully braided, you know, cables themselves. Very, very nice finish. Black from end to end, as you can see. Really fantastic looking. Uh, your VGA cables, you've got four individual VGA cables, six plus twos, as you can see. Uh, very interesting. The CPU cable ends with, as you can see, power supply end, comes out to an eight pin and a four plus four on the same cable. So if you're gonna be using two power connectors, you've got it there if you're only using the one. Put it in, you can tuck this way behind the motherboard, out of your way, but you've got both there, which is a very nice thing. And of course your SATA and Molex cables, you know, come bundled. You've got a total of eight SATA connectors, uh, four Molex, and of course, like I say, you've got that floppy connector, which is not braided, by the way. It is uh, individually sleeved, but not braided, and just a little floppy connector that, uh, I don't know, in case you happen to be using a floppy, you got it. So really nice cable set. And like I say, a huge part of what makes the Fury 750G really such um, a desirable power supply is the cable kit right here. Now, as I stated earlier, the Fury 750G is built off the FSP platform, uh, which is a very, very solid platform. And it's just that, it's solid. It's not the type that's gonna make it ooh and ah, but it's not the type that's gonna make you say, whoa, that's not good either. Um, so what we're seeing here on the 12-volt rail, you know, the regulations, obviously not the tightest we've seen, but well within ATX specs. And really, uh, nice thing being, you're getting a nice solid flat line there. You're not getting a whole lot of variation in voltage. So you've got good, uh, you know, suppression there of ripple. But, um, you know, the regulation, like I say, not the best we've seen. You know, we do get a little bit more of a drop there, you know, than I would have liked to have seen. But, you know, like I say, it's within ATX spec and it's solid. Now, moving over to the minor rails, uh, we see much better regulation on the minor rails. And again, um, very, very good, solid power delivery flat across the board. So all in all, we're getting very good, very solid performance uh, from the Fury 750G. I would have liked to have seen, like I say, a little bit better regulation on the 12 volt rail, but it's still, you know, a solid where it is. Now, I did say at the onset that the Fury 750G is a very interesting piece. Uh, it's also a bit unusual. And also with the price point, uh, the right now the introductory price, uh, street price, you're looking at anywhere from 169 to 179. Uh, so that's for a 750 watt gold power supply. So it's gonna sound a little high, especially with only solid performance, not you know absolutely spectacular performance. But the key here is these cables. Um, if you're looking, you know, if you were going to be buying individually sleeved cables or looking to do the mod or looking at resleeving cables, this is going to save you right up, you know, about $80 to $100 right there. So we do need to look at it a little bit differently because of the accessories that are coming with it. So, I mean, for the modder, I mean, obviously, this thing is an absolute joy. Um, you're going to get a very solid power supply along with the cable set. You know, you can either use, you know, right out of the box if you're doing a black build or if you're going to be resleeving yourself. I mean, easy to sleeve uh, by yourself or, you know, you can mix and match with some, uh, 
you know, extensions if you're going to do multicolors. But, you know, it's really a huge savings right out of the box. And, you know, probably the best looking set of cables out of the box that we've seen in the power supply. Certainly the uh, best we've seen out of a power supply in this type of price point. Now, so with that in mind, uh, I am going to give it a High Tech Legion Gold Award for modders. Um, you know, if you're somebody who's looking for the cables, you know, and, or you were going to, you know, thinking about doing the cables, obviously tremendous value, going to get a High Tech Legion Gold Award. Um, for everybody else, though, with a price point, like I say, of $169 to $179 for a 750 watt power supply, if these aren't, if the cables aren't important to you, obviously this is not going to be the right choice for you. But uh, like I say, for, if you're looking to pimp the case, this is a fantastic buy in the power supply. Uh, solid power delivery, great cables. You know, like I say, if you're not interested in the cables, you know, you're not worried about it, you know, you might want to look elsewhere for a power supply. But uh, for modders, I'm going to give it a High Tech Legion Gold Award. For everybody else, it's going to be a High Tech Legion Silver Award. So very uh, nice showing on their first power supply from BitPhoenix with the Fury 750G.